Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Shehrina Wahid with the top news of the day. Sheikh Rasir Krira Chakko Limited has distributed food items and educational materials among 6,000 helpless and jobless people in Kotalipara, Gopalganj. These items were distributed at Kotalipara Opposilla premises on Sunday morning. Local Aumilik leaders present on the occasion welcomed the initiative of Sheikh Russell Sports Club Chairman Siam Sobhan Anvir. Meanwhile, Boshundhara Group, the country's leading business organization, has provided food aid to 1,200 people in four Upuzilas of Shirajganj. Unemployed and poor people are happy to get this help in the corona crisis. The people's representatives, including the local administration, express their gratitude and appreciation to the Boshundhara Group for such an initiative in the midst of the epidemic. For the first time, the birth anniversary of a Bongo Mata, Fozaluddin Nesa Mujib, is being celebrated nationally. On her 91st birth anniversary, the Aumilik paid homage at Bonanin Cemetery. The example of a Bongo Mata Sheikh Fozaluddin Nesa Mujib, the wife or father of the nation, Bongo Bindhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, will continue to be a source of inspiration for Bengali women throughout the ages. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina said this while discussing the 91's birth anniversary of Bongomata on Sunday. She further said that Bongomata has made an outstanding contribution to the freedom struggle of Bangladesh. Almanic General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir added that was not only Bangabandhu's wife, she has given inspiration, strength and courage to the father of the nation in every aspect of life from behind the scenes. The CID raided the homes of Porimoni, Piyasha, Mo, Raj, Mishu and Helena Jahangir on a Saturday afternoon and seized various items. The Police Criminal Investigation Department says the seized items are being tested in their various labs. Raghob Balkara, the name behind their criminal world, has also been revealed. So the Arabia is opening up for the foreigners who have been vaccinated against the coronavirus to perform Umrah. From August 9, the country will gradually start accepting applications from fully vaccinated Umrah candidates. So the Arabia has not issued visas to any foreigners to perform Umrah for nearly a year and a half due to the epidemic. From now on, Saudi Arabia will start welcoming foreign tourists to their mosque in Mecca and Medina. In this case, domestic and foreign Umrah applicants will have to submit an approved COVID-19 vaccine certificate along with the application. On the second day of the ongoing mass immunization program across the country, innumerable people gathered at the centers. Many people went to Chittagong, Silet, Borishal City and other centers to get vaccinated. Due to the huge number of people, it was impossible to maintain social distance. Not everyone present was able to receive a vaccine, so a lot of people returned home without it. Meanwhile, in 24 hours, 111 people lost their lives in different districts of the country due to corona and symptoms. And that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.